here. So for today's video, I am going to be doing the long-awaited apartment tour video. I have not shown you guys my apartment yet just because I feel like it isn't really complete. I feel like I don't have it completely decorated and completely how I would like it. But I felt like it would be cool to do an apartment tour video right now and then once I fully decorate it and make it look super cute and super Sonia, then I'll do another tour and you guys can see like how I decorated it and stuff. So right now I have pretty much like bare bones stuff and a little bit of decorations, but it's nothing crazy. So I thought that I would show you guys uh, what my apartment looks like. I live in Los Angeles, California. I live in Hollywood and I have my own studio apartment. And for my apartment, I pay a little under $1,800 a month, which is quite a bit, but that is pretty much the standard price for this kind of apartment in this area. You can get less expensive uh, in different areas, but I really wanted to stay in Hollywood and I really wanted to be nearby the metro station and I really wanted to just to be close by where my auditions are and all that stuff. In the Hollywood area, I believe that this is pretty much the standard price for studio apartments, at least if you want an apartment with amenities and in a reasonably okay area. Um, there are definitely cheaper apartments, but you have to look out for things like cockroaches. So the last apartment that I lived in was pretty inexpensive, but we had to deal with cockroaches, the security wasn't reliable, the apartment wasn't safe, it was just not good, so uh, I feel like I'm very very happy with this apartment and I'm willing to pay a little bit extra to have different amenities like swimming pool Gym, I know that I'm rambling a lot, but I just know I'm gonna get so many comments that are like Well, I pay a hundred dollars a month and I live in a seven bedroom house in Texas and I'm like, okay I don't want to live in Texas though. <laughs> so if you guys are wondering how I make money and how I actually afford to live in Los Angeles, then I will link that video down below. I actually just made it. And I also filmed an empty apartment tour when I first moved into this apartment about six, seven months ago. So I will link that down below. That is on my vlog channel if you guys want to check it out. So yeah, let's get on with the apartment tour. Hello guys. So let's enter my apartment. So when you first come in, you kind of see the whole entire thing. Um, it's not very big, so you kind of see it when you first walk in. So first, let's look inside my little closet. This holds my washer and dryer, and it has a nice little foldable door. Here we go. I really, really like this washer and dryer. It is so nice, and it is so convenient to just have it right there so I can do laundry whenever and I don't have to take it anywhere. There's a bunch of boxes that I'm keeping in there during my apartment tour video because they were sitting over there and I didn't want you guys to see them. So, uh, I mean, now you're seeing them, but you know. You know what I'm saying. I keep my clothes there, um, just some random towels, some products, and then my dirty clothes on the bottom shelf. Have my vacuum in there, you know, some grocery bags, all the necessities. Next, let's move on to the kitchen. We have a little fridge, you know, classic. Uh, got some recycling. I have a lock that used to be on my steering wheel when I had a car, and now I just keep it there because I feel like it's a good weapon. Uh, if anyone is to come in and, you know, try and attack me, I can just, you know, knock them out. So now we have a little food area, pot on the stove. I have a gas stove, which I'm not a huge fan of, a microwave, uh, got an oven, sink, all that stuff, you know, classic kitchen stuff. Have a little thing to carry my utensils. Cabinet under the sink. We have this counter area that uh, is kind of empty when I'm not cooking. It's a good amount of counter space for when I'm cooking, but when I'm not cooking, it is just empty. And I kind of want to put something there, but I don't really know what. And then we have this little mason jar full of compostable straws. Next, we have a Lana poster from the time I saw her live. It was like the best day of my entire life. So I have that poster, I just keep it there. And these are the lights, you know, very nice, very bright. Yep, just turn them on and off, okay. And now we have the AC. A lot of apartments in Los Angeles, surprisingly, don't have an AC. I don't really know what's up with that. So um, yeah, it's at 74.9. I don't really know why I'm pointing at that, but you know, apparently that was significant at this moment in time. So let's move on to the bathroom. It is a smallish bathroom, but it is the perfect size for me. Um, it has a little shelf above the toilet that has all of my necessities and the light has a fan attached which you know honestly not a huge 
fan of. I wish they were separate, but you know, that's life. So yeah, this just has some hair tools, some random products that I use, a lot of TUP, some mini towels for washing my face, and a nail filer. There is the shower, the cabinet, the sink, that is just crowded with a bunch of products. And then we have this little over the door rack from Target that just holds my towels and my robe. So next let's move on to the rest of the apartment, which is basically just, you know, a room. So we have the dining room area right here. Um, there's literally just one chair because I have no friends, but yeah, here's my dining table. I got this glass one on Amazon and I really, really like it. Coffee, cause I was drinking coffee and just a nice little plant that I got at a plant shop kind of nearby me. So yeah, apparently that one is very hard to kill and I haven't killed it because I so far have forgotten to water it and it's doing fine. So let's move on to this little bookshelf thing. This bookshelf uh, actually found by the recycling of my apartment and I was like, okay, this is now mine. I've been needing a bookshelf and look at that. So got some crystals over here. These are ones that I really like and I like my incense here and it just makes my apartment smell really nice. Um, got the Lana Del Rey Lust for Life album. Some Stella Sonia Co. business cards. Uh, got, you know, a little cat light and then also have these little, uh, I don't know what these are called, but um, I got them at Ikea and just have some magazines, some coloring books and some notebooks and this one. On this shelf, we just have some cards that people got for me and for some reason a lint roller. <laughs> um, we got some books right here, a bunch of random books. A lot of these I haven't read yet. I feel like I live kind of the minimalistic lifestyle. So once I've read a book, I give it away unless it's something that I just love so much or a recipe book. Um, here we have the other Lana Del Rey CD because Stella did not want hers. So I was like, girl, I will take it. Um, have this camera, have a couple SD cards, and then also have this SD card um, thing that you put in the computer. Love that. Um, you know, Another boring shelf. This is where I put my purse so that it always has a place to live when I come home. Uh, some more random books. And then here are some of my favorite, you know, staple jewelry pieces. Got, you know, our little studs from Forever 21. This choker that I like. Um, and we also have some cherry earrings from Ultimate Zen. Some tart spray, necklace, tarot, a box down there. I literally didn't know what to put in these shelves, so I just set that down there. This is a box that actually holds my patch collection um, because I have a bunch of patches. So I was thinking of doing an ASMR video on that. Let me know if you'd like to see that. And then here we have a rack of a bunch of my clothes. So this was given to me by my friend and I really appreciate it because I now use it to just hold all of my uh, stuff that doesn't fit in my closet. So have this purse right here, which I don't really use that much anymore, but I should, I really like it. Um, we have like pants and stuff down there. And we also have, yeah, just dresses and random Stella Sonia Co. stuff. So here we have the bed, you know, nothing special. I definitely want to get a new comforter cover so it just looks cuter. But we have satin sheets. These are not silk. These are satin because silk is not vegan, haha. <laughs> but you can get these on Amazon for like 20-ish dollars. Literally just search pink satin sheets or whatever and you will find them like i absolutely love them they are so nice and feel really good the only thing is that um it sometimes feels like if you have a small bed i have a this is a queen size bed um but if you have a small bed then you probably shouldn't get these because you'll feel like you're just sliding off so yeah but this bed i got a really good deal on craigslist for them um so i was literally just going through i was like crap i'm moving into my apartment tomorrow all these beds are like a thousand dollars I don't want to spend that much money on a bed and this bed the frame and the mattress all together was like $200 and these two guys just came to my apartment and set it up it was kind of sketchy they like needed cash so I was like um I don't really know but yeah it's been good so far I really like it we have this little table area and I do want to replace this with a night side table eventually but for now we just have this little table which works perfectly fine I feel like once I find a good bedside table with a little drawer I can use this as maybe a 
table to hold a plant or something, but we have this essential oil diffuser I got from Art Naturals. And if you guys remember my nighttime routine, um, I actually was sponsored by them for this and I still love it and I use it like all the time. It's so great. Uh, my favorite lotion from Trader Joe's. This is like an eye cover thing because a lot of light comes through these blinds, um, especially just like, I don't know, in the morning. So I <laughs> wear this to sleep. It just helps me sleep a lot better. And then, you know, this carries my pennies and stuff because I don't, know, I don't really have a use for pennies, but I don't want to get rid of them, you know, saving money, gang. We have another window right here, which I can sit on the couch. Look out the window. Like, I just love this view so much, you guys. When I first walked into this apartment and saw this view, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need this apartment right now. And the lady that was leasing this apartment, she told me, she was like, there are three other people that want this apartment. Like, you are gonna have to apply right away. So, got it. But yeah, let me show you guys this area over here. So this is kind of the chill living area. Um, we have this area that just kind of my tripods live there. When you have a studio apartment, your filming equipment just becomes part of the furniture. Um, we have this Lana Del Rey poster, which I really like. And then we have this basic ass tapestry. You know, everyone has one of these that is just the backdrop right there. And then we also have another tapestry on the couch, a random blanket. And yeah, this couch I got from Walmart, it was really inexpensive and I really like it so far. It hasn't broken, so thank God got uh, this little coffee table area. So I didn't want a square coffee table that would take up a lot of space. And so I actually found this as well by the recycling in my apartment. And I was like, dude, yes, scoring so much free furniture. So I got it, but look at how beautiful it is, guys. It has like a little gold bottom and I just keep a plant here. It's dying a little bit, but it's doing okay. Um, and then we have a tarot book and a tarot card deck. I don't really know that much about tarot. I would really like to learn. Um, all my friends think that I should get into it because I have really vivid dreams and sometimes people think that I'm psychic. I don't think that I'm psychic, but I definitely feel like I'm very intuitive. So I think dealing with tarot cards would be really cool for me. So Stella got me this for Christmas and it's just kind of been chilling and I've kind of, you know, dabbled in it a little bit, but not too much. Um, let's move on. So we have this little record player that I acquired. Got a uh, ring light here. Use this when I'm filming and streaming. We also have this full length mirror. Again, guys, I found this by the recycling of my apartment. There was just one day that I totally scored like, Someone must have been moving out and just left all their stuff there and I was like, dude, I am freaking taking this So yeah, I got this lovely mirror and then this desk, which I believe I got from Amazon It was literally just basic white desk. It just has one drawer um, This salt lamp over here that I really like. Let's see if I can turn it on Oh, yes, look at that. Look at that guys. And then we have uh, my passport, which um, is because I just went to Canada Came back, I don't know why I put it there, but you know, it's there. <laughs> uh, we have this microphone that I use for filming ASMR videos. It still has slime in it from one time that I put slime in it. That's really awesome. Uh, we have a little cat statue. It's supposed to be a good luck. I believe Stella gave it to me, yes. Have my pens back there. And then we have my closet. So it has some mirrors on it. And uh, let's just take a look. It's not huge, but you know, we have a nice little upper shelf to keep all my stuff. There's my clothes and then there are some like plastic drawers that I keep pretty much all of my <laughs> other clothes and like random useless makeup products in. So yeah, and I also have a drawer I think for electronics in there. You know, all that stuff. Also have this shoe rack. Again guys, this shoe rack somehow finessed. This was by the recycling of my old apartment complex and it's just moved with me onto the new apartments. Also, love these shoes. These are my vegan shoes from ANI brand. If you guys want to check them out, the link will be down below. Also use code Sonia and they will donate $5 to Mercy for Animals. Here is kind of an overlay of the whole freaking apartment. I love it so much. This is like, I don't know. I just absolutely love it here and it's so beautiful and so cute. And I just, I'm so happy to be living in such a convenient area and such a nice place. So yeah, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this apartment tour. I hope that it answered some questions. I hope that you got maybe some ideas of 
you know, what you can get in Los Angeles for the amount that I pay. Um, so yeah, be sure to subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Check out my vlog channel, guys. I've been posting on there and my ASMR channel. Those will be linked down below. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.